Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Hewley brand, the rechargeable hydraulic battery cable crimping tool. I've got my notes here to make sure I see everything correct. This is the model HL300B. It has a brushless motor for the drive motor. It'll do 600 kilonewtons of compression force, which is pretty amazing. That's what's gonna compress the connectors themselves has a lug range of 8 gauge all the way to 600 MCM and there's 12 dies included. We're going to show you everything's included. Now if you don't know what MCM is, I looked it up also. It's an abbreviation for thousands of circular mills. It's an old measurement of wire gauge. But you'll see as these gauges go up in numbers, especially for the MCM, you'll see they get really, really large in diameter. This has a one year warranty and uh, it gets perfect five star ratings so you can see this huge box in front of me this thing is unbelievable i don't normally show myself but i wanted as you see how big this box is and how amazing this tool is i'm going to open this up and it's all solid plastic and you can see inside here i'll have a top view of this but you could see the tool itself and all the dies that are organized here from the smallest to the biggest and it has the charger right here and the two batteries here and the unit itself and a strap and one of the dies is also under there because that's the 12th one but just incredible and this has really strong latches on here to allow you to really hold this thing securely so let's go to a top view and then we're going to start showing you how this works and we're going to show you how I use it around my house and we're going to do two compression fittings to give you a full example of how this works. So here's a top view of everything that's included so you can see everything from a better angle. So here's that strap that I was talking about and it has uh, nice clips on there and the tool itself has a holder for that strap that you can put right there in that hole. Look at the size of this tool. It's got a real nice weight to it. Now you notice there is an LED right there. That's a status LED. And there's also a front facing LED right there to help you see what you're working on. This is an emergency release. If the crimp is going bad, you hit this and it'll retract the actual crimp. Inside here is the brushless motor and there's cooling vents along there. Now this is the way it works. You can see this opens up. You hit the bottom right there. You see how this just rotates, allowing you to really go in any angle that you want to when you're crimping. And that's handy when you're actually uh, crimping various things. So uh, the way this is uh, set up is that you see that there is receptors here. The way this is uh, set up is that there are receptors here for the different dies. And there is a button that you push right there on each one of these and that's a release button if you look closely when you hit that you see that little retract right there that little metal plate that's how it releases it so the dies are all included and they're organized from the smallest to the largest so the smallest right here is one I've used already you can see right there the size of it. And you see how it's a, a hex shape? This is 8 gauge or 10 millimeter. So let's just show you how this goes on the tool. So this slides in and it locks into the center. And I'm going to go this direction on this bottom piece. Push it like that, then it locks it in place. Then you just close it like that and it locks. Now never operate this tool unless you have a die in there. So let's put a battery on here and let's show you. Batteries are really nice. They've got really high current connectors on there and a status bar letting you see when it is charged or needs charging. Let's just slide this on the tool itself. You can see the oversized connections right on there you line this up slide it in you hear a beep 
This is also a status LED and the manual does go over all the different settings or all the different LED on there because this has a lot of safety features. It'll let you know if the battery needs to be charged and so forth. Real basic operation, you just hold this button down right here. And that's it, it compresses and it stops. Now, if you were to make a mistake, go like this, and you could stop it right there by hitting that release button. That's it. All automatic and simple to operate. Now, I've used this already to make a lot of different connectors, and I'm gonna show you in my basement right now a little bit of some of the connectors I've already made with that smaller gauge that I just showed you. But it's just so versatile what you can do. Uh, with, it's so versatile what you could do to be able to compress and crimp these large connectors. Because you'd have to solder these or try and do it with a manual tool. And it's just going to take you a long time and you're never going to get a solid connection that you're going to get with this tool. Now we're going to be actually demonstrating how to use this with two of the larger dies inside here. We're going to be doing a one gauge and uh, let me take a look at my notes here. We're going to be demonstrating I got the wire set up a four gauge and a one gauge. I've got multiple heavy duty wires on here already stripped and lined up and there's where the crimping is going to be. You notice that crimps have a little beveled edge so that because they know that you might have the conductors inside there. So we're going to be demonstrating that with the larger dies. But just to give you an idea of how versatile and how large of a die this thing will work with, let me just show you right here. Here is the largest die that is included. This is the number 12. Look at the size of that. That's crazy. I've never seen a connector that big. Uh, it's unbelievable, 300 uh, millimeter, and this is 600 CMI, which is incredibly large. So if you have an industry application where you've got to put thousands of amps through something, uh, that's the one you're going to use. So the Hewley HL300B crimping tool has an included really nice computer charger. It's got this little safety plastic piece on there. The battery slides into this, just like that. It beeps, has a little song, and then it starts to give you all the status, and there's the status LEDs right there, letting you know what's going on as it's charging. You can see it was at 97%, and it's going to complete the charge, and it has the voltage and the amperage that's going on. It also has a USB-A port on there where you can plug in and you could charge a mobile phone or anything else that uses USB-A. It looks like it's about a 2 amp port also. So that's really nice and simple. When you're done, you just push the button on the battery and you just remove the battery. And of course, it has a status indicator on each battery also. So here I have a backup inverter. And this crimper has allowed me to make the really nice oversized battery connections on my lithium ion battery. So it's very handy for making custom cables that you wouldn't be able to make without this crimper tool. Now after you use the die, you just push that button right there and it releases and then you could take this button and push it in and then you could remove the die just like that on both sides and uh, then you put the next one on that you're ready to use it's just that simple so let's try the four gauge size so I had the four gauge die on there I'm going to insert it in here against one of the sides right there I hit the button and it put a hexagonal pattern on the wire right there and it compressed the wires in place. 
And that's basically it. You just have to make sure that your wire is filling up the slot, for, for this case, for the four gauge. Now we're gonna try the larger diameter, the one gauge. So I have the one gauge on there, the die, and we'll put it in place, push the button, and it releases. Now this is kind of a larger one, so I'm gonna go another time. And a third time. And there you have it. So you can see it's got the different compression pieces on there. And now it's securely holding these four very, very thick wires. Now this kit includes two 18 volt, five amp hour batteries. And each one of these batteries will do uh, 300 crimpings on here, which is really nice. Here you can see the front headlight on there. I show it right there, which gives you a little bit of extra light when you're crimping if you're in a dark area. So I want to show you a little trick. This is the four gauge, and I use the four gauge uh, uh, die, but the wires were a little bit less than desirable. Could have put a little bit more wire in there. So now I went to the next gauge lower, and I could recompress this. Just like that. And now what it did is it compressed it really onto the wires and now it's really on there. So do that if you ever have enough, don't have enough wire in there for the given gauge. That's a way to get around that and still have it locked in place. So after testing, what do I think about the Hewley brand, the rechargeable hydraulic battery cable crimping tool, the model HL300B with that great brushless motor and those 12 dies included the strap the high-tech computer charger, the two batteries, and this really amazing tool. So if you have any kind of electronic work to do where you've got to compress something, encrypt something, this tool is the way to go. It works really, really well. I'm impressed with the quality of it. It even has a decent balance to it, even though it's really heavy and high quality. So I'm impressed. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.